Now with the head coach of the Washington football team, Ron Rivera, undergoing treatments for cancer while vowing to continue coaching. The 58-year-old who receives five treatments a week admitted that he struggled at times while on the sidelines, staying hydrated with two bags of IV fluid before yesterday's game. Coach Rivera joins us now with more on his valiant fight while leading his team through one of, well, one of the most challenging NFL seasons yet. Coach, thank you. Appreciate your time this morning. I know it was a little rough at times yesterday, so how, how are you feeling this morning, Coach? So I'm feeling pretty good, Robin. You know, um, once we got done with the game, I hydrated. We went home. I tried to eat, um, watched a little bit of football, and hmm. I honestly was in bed by about 8 o'clock. Got your rest. That is always so important. Yes. As we as we said, five treatments a week, Coach. And, you know, many are saying, and I know you're vowing to stay on the sidelines. Why is this so important to you, sir? Well, I think because, it, first of all, it's who I am. You know, listening to the doctors talking about how important it is to try and do as much of the routine as possible. But they also tell you, hey, be careful, listen to your body. And, and, and also, you know, there's other people watching me. So I'm just trying to set the example. I mean, hey, you know, RBG, she went mm. through it. And uh, so I figure I can too. Yes, and many people who have faced this and, and you are an example of that, of how you live after a diagnosis like this. You've got a lot of support, don't have to tell you that. The t-shirts the that we saw yesterday uh, of your players and others that were wearing it, Rivera Strong, and also the Coach's Corner, your friends and family buying cutouts to raise some $30,000 for the American Cancer Society. How much does that support mean to you when you look up and you saw that in the Coach's Corner? It means a lot, because you know, when I first was diagnosed, I was angry. Mm. And, and then as I've kind of gone through this, it's always kind of, well, why me? And, but, but it's, you know, people have, have, have reached out and have talked to me and have, have given me their examples or, or, or just sent their well wishes. It helps push me forward. And I think that's so important because, you know, when you go through something like this, you need a support system. And, and, and when you have the right type of people pushing you, Man, I'll tell you what, it really helps to get your momentum going forward. I'm sure that it does. And I couldn't help but notice that one of the cutouts was of your brother who passed away from yeah. pancreatic cancer in, in 2015. So when you saw his image, uh, what went through your mind, sir? Um, th th that, that really hit me, uh, Robin. It, it, it's, it's hitting me now, um, you know, because Mickey was, Mickey was such a fighter. And, mm -hmm. uh, just to see him again and, and, and just, just imagine it, that, that was, that, that brought home, the, that, that hit home, that, that was, that was, yeah. that was great. It was awesome. Yeah, fighters, yeah, that runs in your blood. Um, on a lighter note, there was a cutout of your mom, and that's the first time she's been at one of your games as a head coach. She refuses to go because she doesn't like people yelling at her son. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. So that is really the first time she's been to a game since I've been a head coach. She, uh, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't appreciate all the bad words. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, no, no. <laughs> uh, and, and you have to find the levity even at, at moments like this. But Coach Rivera, you know the treatment that you're receiving, the excellent treatment that you are receiving. And you've often spoken, as many of us who have, have walk this path, have been on this journey as well. How important is for everyone who is facing a diagnosis like this to be able to get affordable and, and accessible quality care? Absolutely, Robin, you, you know, there's so much that goes into this and, and, and so expensive that if we don't have quality health care in our country, I mean, we're the richest country in the world, we should. And everybody deserves the opportunity to fight and fight with everything that they're given. And this is the opportunity now. So people got to go out and they've got to vote. They got to vote their conscience because it's important. It is important. And how many treatments do you have left? I've got three weeks left and, uh, and, and one more cycle left to go of chemo as well. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, as, as, as Stuart Scott said, mm. you know, I have it. It doesn't have me. And it's not how far I have to go, but it's how far I've gone. That's right. And you also said you beat it by the manner in which you live your life. And that's what you're doing, coach. Thank you for bringing up Stuart Scott, a dear friend. We wish you all Thank the best, you. except when you play the Thank Saints. You. If the Saints are on your schedule, I'm sorry. No. I can't wish you the best then. But any other time, I'm here for right. you. I'll remember that. Okay. My best to you and your family, Coach Rivera. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching.
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.